I'm Petty Officer Liz Murray. In the news, defense officials say they're working to speed up the development and production of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program to make the aircraft more affordable. Ashton Carter, Under Secretary of Defense for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics, told reporters Friday the objective is to get all phases of the program back on track. If you, if you as we intend to do with the first two actions, compress the developmental flight test program, then you, and that is bring back the schedule, then you have to say, well, by the time you're done, you've finished up your testing, is the software going to be done? We wanted to make sure the answer to that was yes. The Pentagon's efforts come after a 2009 study found the development phase of the Joint Strike Fighter was 30 months behind schedule. The Police Mentoring Team, or PMT, at Fob Lion trained the Afghan National Police for 21 days on various skills, including first responder training, basic marksmanship skill, and investigative building searches. Petty Officer Cody Boyd has more from Panjir Province, Afghanistan. The Police Mentoring Team, or PMT, at Ford Operating Base Lion trained the Afghan National Police for 21 days on various skills, including first responder training, basic marksmanship skills, and investigative building searches. The training is great. We get nothing but good feedback on it, but um, to be honest with you, uh, we've noticed a couple of things. And first and foremost is that when we start teaching law, that's when we have a tendency to lose our audience. The main reason is because the Afghans have difficulty reading and writing. The PRT is working with Afghan language instructors to teach literacy to the ANP. This training will be a one-on-one -on -one basis with support from the government to help the policemen better understand and enforce the law. So where we are right now is good. It, uh, it helps the police get to a level of competency when it comes to community policing, but we only look to get better. The PMT have been training Afghans since June of 2009. This class is graduating with around 35 of the newest ANP. This training is enabling the Panjiris to better police themselves within the province. Petty Officer Cody Boyd, Panjir Province, Afghanistan. Searchers rescued a hiker Thursday who was stranded on a glacier in Alaska for four days. A Coast Guard helicopter crew spotted Kyle Duncan Wednesday. However, due to poor weather conditions, a rescue attempt could not be made. Duncan was last heard from Sunday when he radioed to the aircraft scheduled to pick him up that he was tired, weak, and had not eaten in four days. Fog and snow made rescue attempts nearly impossible. It wasn't until the fog cleared Thursday that the Army National Guard was able to land on Mead Glacier in Tongass National Forest and rescue the weary hiker. USS Freedom makes a huge drug bust. The littoral combat ship was conducting counter illicit trafficking operations in the Caribbean March 3rd when it intercepted and captured a high speed vessel carrying more than one half tons of cocaine. Crew members also arrested five suspected drug smugglers. It was the second drug bust for the Freedom in a span of 10 days. This is the Army's new device to fight the threat of improvised explosive devices downrange. Tanglefoot can be attached to more than 8,000 currently fielded robots. The U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command's Tank and Automotive Center will publicly display Tanglefoot during a defense conference next week. And for the latest military news, signature programming and more, head to pentagonchannel.mil.